The Wicked Raven Once upon a time there lived a pigeon and a raven who were friends. They lived in a huge banyan tree on the outskirts of a village in southern India. It was winter. The two birds were hungry and could not find any food. One night, the raven said, friend let us go to the next village i'm sure we'll get food there the pigeon agreed and so the next morning the two friends set off on their journey on their way they saw a man carrying a pot full of fresh thick curd to sell in the market Their mouths watered and they wished they could have some of it and so they followed the man. After a while the man stopped to rest under a tree. He put a spot down and lay down beside it. The raven and the pigeon were also tired and so they sat on the branches of the tree. The raven looked at the curd and said, "This is our chance. We must eat some curd now." The pigeon said, "How can we do that, friend?" The raven laughed and said, "It is easy. Just watch me." He then swooped down to the pot, filled his beak with curd, and flew up again. He loved the taste of the fresh curd and so he swooped down again and again. Soon the man woke up and resumed his journey. The pigeon said, "Don't try taking any more curd, friend, or you will be in trouble." The raven laughed and said, "Trouble? You are only saying that because you have not been able to taste the curd. Go on, try it. You won't be able to stop eating it either." "No, thank you, friend. You've had enough, and it's wrong to steal," said the pigeon. Ha, you're just a wimp. The man can't even see me as I'm flying above him, said the raven. So the raven did not heed the pigeon's warnings and continued to eat the curd. Soon the man reached the market. He put the pot down and was shocked to find the pot half empty. He looked around to see who had stolen his curd and saw the raven with his beak white with curd. The man shouted, "You wicked raven! I'll get you for stealing my curd." 
he picked up a big stone and flung it at the raven. The raven dodged the stone, but the pigeon could not get away in time. It hit the poor pigeon and it fell to the ground and was badly injured. The raven flew away not bothering to help his friend. The poor pigeon lay in pain and said, If only I had realized that having friends who are wicked is as harmful as being wicked oneself.